Got another load of fill. Trying to fill in this back corner here. Let's see if we can get a closer look at it. So it's quite a little gully here. So this fill will help with that, but I think we're gonna need another one and then running up this entire side here. Probably need a couple more loads. But the rest of it looks pretty good. We're getting very flat. I'm gonna get two loads of inch and a half steam mat which I'm going to have him drop right along, right in here. So I can pull out of that for our structures and everything up top. And then when it's all said and done, it'll be a nice compact um, area of inch and a half steam mat. So that's what we're shooting for. And uh, keep on plugging away here. Not getting nearly as far this week as I wanted to. By now, I wanted to be setting piers and and uh, blocks, but sometimes you just gotta go with it. cluster of trees right here we're going to take down and throw into the pile that's going to open up our view to the mountains off in the distance which is really nice we like that a couple hours later and that whole group of trees is now gone walk over to the other side show you all the stumps and if there's any ever ever any question about the saw that milwaukee saw right there the 16 inch milwaukee has been doing all my cutting up here on every tree all the way up to 10 inch round trees um it's been great thing works awesome um let's go over and see if we can get a look at all the stumps you can really see off of this edge, no more trees. This line on the back, where the cabin's gonna be. All the trees. And you can see all the stumps here. Brush pile again. Brush pile's got to be 10 feet tall now and very deep. I just keep crunching it, pushing it back, crunching it, pushing it back. It's working though. Um, but here's from here, nice and clean. 
Uh, everything's looking good. This is our site right now. One of the things I wasn't planning on doing was cutting this group of trees down right here. But after starting to set the mafia blocks in the sun, um, looking at the positioning in the afternoon sun, I noticed that the solar panels that are going to be attached up on top here to the mafia blocks would be halfway covered by the time 4 o'clock in the afternoon rolled around. So I decided to start taking this group of trees out here gonna have to go back a little bit further but you could see the our area that we cleared is nice and flat you can see the line that's the back side of the cabin still got some trees to get rid of there that are laying down and then this is the line where it kind of drops off our elevations change there's still a big elevation change but i don't know we'll have to figure that out because at some point what we like to do is this whole area running out in this field here eventually have it all pasture um gardens what, whatever we want to whatever we want to do but we got a lot of clearing to do in order to do that started laying our stay mat up top and mafia blocks mafia blocks have been a little challenging because um, we're setting them right on the surface so we have to level them i would like them all to be exactly the same um, configuration no variation because I'm going to build off them with uh, lumber for the racks for the solar panels so um, they have to be I'm trying to get them right on so dead nuts level um, plum level and um, symmetrical all the way down the line there's going to be a total of five so I got three more to add down through here and they'll be ready to start building racks for the solar. So that's that's where we're at. And that's our update for today. Yeah, this is what I'm seeing. Taking video. Taking video. Joel's tired. Yeah. He's sunburned. Haven't showered in four days. So here's the blocks. Now we got one more to set tonight. All the stone down level. Um. That's about it. We're very tight coming on to the end here. We had to put some extra stone down because we were falling off the edge with the machine. But that's okay. Uh, but right where those boards end is going to be the last mafia block. So this is proven to be a little more challenging than we anticipated. But like everything up here, kind of the way it goes. But um still going we're gonna get the last block now pick it up and set it and then we are done for the night and we are done doing this stuff for the weekend tomorrow i am going to be emptying the trailer getting the solar panels off and onto a pallet and heading home before i gotta go back to work Wow, the guys got so much done after the kids and I left. Thank you, Joel, for all your help. Uh, Troy is now back home and 
showered up, rested up, planning the next trip. Hopefully the well will be dug within the next two weeks and then we can start all the buildings.